let's chat. This primer is on his last leg. <laughs> so the beauty community is kind of in shambles right now. Okay, I'm kind of being dramatic. However, this whole debacle with the mascara does open up quite a few conversations. One of them being, can influencers be honest when advertising? Should influencers be honest when advertising? Can influencers be trusted at all anymore? And I think this is very interesting for me to see now as an influencer compared to when I'd see these conversations years ago as a content consumer, like many of you are now. I do not want to do eyeshadow today. <laughs> I think everybody should understand that at a base level, there is going to be some bias. That should be a given. We're all human. But having said that, I think we as influencers have a responsibility to be as honest as we can, especially when it comes to advertising. I cannot talk and do this at the same time. We are not big corporations that can get away with stuff like using false lashes in a mascara commercial. Influencers are contracted by brands because there's a closer connection between creator and consumer rather than brand and consumer. So there's a bigger impact when an influencer falsely promotes a product. And if you're a bigger content creator, you can't really blame the brand on that. I did not prepare a script for this, can you tell? <laughs> if your only goal is to sell products, then okay, you can lie. But if you want to build a real connection with your audience, then you should be honest about the products you're promoting. That's the bare minimum. Add disclosure, the bare minimum. And if a product sucks for you, don't take the deal and let it suck. I don't know why I did this, but we're gonna roll with it. Did I fix it? I've always been terrible with conclusions and this is no exception. <laughs> Kinda just wanted to ramble, get my thoughts out. So I'm gonna open the floor, sound off in the comments. What are your thoughts on this whole situation? I ain't going anywhere with this makeup, so I'll see you in the comments.